Go. High energy. Uh, High energy. Wait, so, so I don't watch people's unboxing videos. What is excite? What makes an unboxing video exciting? Like, what do people want to see when they see an unboxing? Like, comment below if you answer Elisa's question. Hello, everybody. This is Elisa from Nature Box Pet Emporium, and today we're doing an unboxing video. Woo! All right, make sure to hit that little bell below and subscribe to our channel. We have some great stuff coming for today. We're gonna see what's in this box. Get us a, give us a preface at least. What is, what do we, what might be in the box? Well, around here, it could be anything. But it might be some frogs, this oh. set. Frogs, you say? Yes. Right. Frogs packed very well. Heat pack, gel packs, packing material, and now we have the good stuff. Alright, so there's a handful of dart frogs in here. So we have some true sips, and these are really nice sized sips. They look like this. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the sips or what type of species of frog are they? Um, so a lot of these frogs in here are Dendrobates tinctorius. The tinctorius dart frogs are very popular because they're one of the larger species of dart frogs and they're very bold and active so they tend to move around the enclosure a lot. The downside is because they're bold and active they can be a little territorial towards one another so you have to make sure you have a properly sized enclosure for these frogs. So pretty much kind of think of them like a ball python right? It's, it's the same type of thing but just a different color right? They more so remind me of uh, cichlids. Anybody who's kept fish and has kept a cichlid tank, these guys are, are very much the same. When they decide they like one another, you can have a harmonious group, and when they decide they don't like each other, well, then you very quickly, uh, they very quickly learn the consequences of that. So. All right, let's keep on rolling. All right, so more Tinctorious, Powder Blue. Uh, actually, these look like Alanis. Nope, F1 Powder Blue. All right, well. We have, we should have Alanis in here though, somewhere. Um, Citronellas. So, Citronella, Citronella. Green sips. See if you can get the, the color on them. And these guys do change a lot from, this is probably just a couple months out of water um, until adulthood. So what may look like just a solid dark blue, almost black leg at adulthood what could be a bright, blue and black web pattern um, so it's really neat these guys and dart frogs in general make real good pets it's one of our favorites here at nature box because they do great in terrariums uh, so you can have your dart frogs you can have all sorts of live tropical plant in there to accompany your frog um, you know you go bioactive and you have uh you have your different flavor of isopods and springtails in there. It's it's a whole box of fun uh, with your centerpiece being uh, the frogs or in some instances maybe even the plants or even the, uh, the isopods. El Cope Aratus. Really nice. Can you get them? Yeah. Oh, several. Ooh, look, at the, look at the green oh, on that awesome. one. Yeah. That one's good looking. Oh, there's a little belly. Blue belly. So some really nice erratus. Erratus are a little less uh, aggressive and territorial than the tinctorius. And they're a little, a little bit smaller. smaller. Bird poops. You know why they're called boop, bird poop, ladies and gentlemen? Because yes, that does look like it could be a little smudge of the good stuff on your car from the bird. And then as they get older, they get a lot of yellow on their belly too, which is cool. I like it. Some more, some more tinctorious. So needless to say, we'll have where we have a pretty good, I mean, we have a pretty good selection of dart frogs anyway, right now, and pretty much always, but uh, just to bolster our numbers and, and resupply, we have lots more, and now we have some vials of uh, controlled substances. Elisa, what are you doing? What is this? All right, so some tarantulas. Let me get them out here. So, so we have some dwarfs. 
so they ship them like this so they don't rattle around in the box during shipping. Kind of like uh, flying an airplane. <laughs> when you're flying, when you're flying Frontier, that's that's uh, you're stuck in the middle seat there. So they do that because so they don't get jostled around and damage themselves or they get hurt. You know they don't have a lot of move room to navigate. So you know that's actually a way of protecting them. It is. So all of these that we're looking at right now are Seriocosmus species. And Seriocosmus are dwarfs. Look at that little guy. We they prefer to be called little spiders. Um, the the Seriocosmus. So for a Seriocosmus species, that's actually fairly large. There's actually videos of this species here mating on a dime. So that's how that's how little they are. Um, at adulthood and they're really really cool bright black and orange tiger striped so you could be the tiger spider king Whoa, oh. you cool sling and tarantula and then uh, just some other of your your hobby staples we have some captive bred simonis some captive bred albopilosums uh, let me see Are these all albopilosums yeah all albopilosums common names uh curly hairs Curly hairs and striped knees. Um, OBT. That should uh, be it. Yeah, it looks like it for this one. We do have another box of tarantulas coming uh, within the next day or so. So tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. And we probably have we probably have three times as much coming on that one, right? Yes, yes. We're expecting a lot more. This is just the tip of the iceberg right here. So we'll probably so. film that and do another one as well as there's, a, you know, maybe, what did you get, like 50 ball pythons coming on that one as well? We'll have a lot of ball pythons as well, yes. So we got the frogs and then Elisa has, we got many boxes of fish over there too. So no unboxing for that one today. We're sticking with the reptiles. Elisa, take us home. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe in the pandemic. Stay safe in the pandemic. Don't forget your mask.